the word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. There's lots of potentials we have here in the present moment that we could develop. We could develop our memory of the past, we could develop our anticipation of the future. What the Buddha wants us to do, though, is to develop our awareness of what's actually going on in the mind right here, right now. So we focus on the breath as a mirror for the mind. Of all the physical things in the world, the breath is the closest to the mind. It's through the breath that you move your body. It's through the breath that you sense what's going on in the body. So when you focus on the breath, you're right close by. And then when a thought comes up in the mind, it's going to be reflected in the breath energy someplace in the body. And the more sensitive you get to this, the more you're going to see. Because there's so many potentials we have in the present moment that just remain undeveloped. Because we're focused on the things outside way too much. There are the events in the world outside, the events going on in the monastery. And in the monastery, okay, you have, a, you have your duties, you have your responsibilities. You take care of those, but whatever time you have left, you want to focus inside, because that's where the real problem is. After all, the Buddha said the cause of suffering is not things outside. It's what's happening in the mind. And you have a very detailed map. How many of those details have you seen? There's a lot to see in here, if you look and you begin to understand how you have hold on to things, hoping to make something else out of them. But here you're looking just at the breath in and of itself, feelings in and of themselves, mind states in and of themselves. That gives you a very different perspective and alerts you to things that you might not have seen otherwise, that you haven't seen otherwise, because you had seen them, you wouldn't, there are a lot of things you wouldn't be doing and a lot of other things you would be doing. Again, the Buddha lays out the path. He points out the wrong path, which is the path of craving, and the right path, which is the Eightfold Path. These things are all potentials right here. So learn to look at the potentials and try to expand your imagination as to what can be done with them. That way, as you watch the breath, you realize there's a lot more than just in, out, in, out. There was once one of the Ajahns complained to Ajahn Lee, why do you teach breath meditation? There's nothing there but in, out, in, out. And as Ajahn Lee said, if that's all you see, then of course that's all there is. His meaning, of course, is if you look from another perspective, you see a lot more there. And once you see more in the breath, you're going to see more in the mind. And that's where you can take care of the real problems. So try to make your center of gravity, your center of focus, right here. And look for potentials that you might have just brushed aside in the past. And say, maybe there's something there. We have the luxury of time to meditate, so make the most of it. <laughs>